Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is the Sobre Boys, Wale Fatsi. Today I'm with Ntwentle, Jacob Silematila. Uh, I'm sure you remember what Jakey said uh, on Saturday morning, okay. his predictions. So I just want us for 10 minutes, let's look at the predictions and also let's look at the two games, all right? Of course, we'll start with Swallows and Pirates and then come to uh, Mamelodi Sundowns and Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, Jackie, welcome to the show. Please greet the viewers and let's get started. Oh, thank you very much for having me once more. Thank you for the opportunity. And uh, my greetings to all our, our viewers at home and our, our, our listeners as well. Here we are once more coming to share the lovely, lovely song of music, lovely song of uh, football. And then here we are uh, appreciating your support as always. Thank you very much, Dow. Let me just come back to you quickly. Yeah, we saw beautiful football uh, on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, but before I go there, I just got sad news eh, that uh, Tembi Kosi Lodge is uh, injured and is out for the whole season. Very bad, eh, very bad. What's your take about that? Very bad. I think this, this is going to destabilize Orlando Pirates. I agree. I agree. Mm. It's uh, really going to destabilize one of the pirates, especially mm. for the whole season without being lost. Mm. Not a good thing. Mm. And it's not only going to destabilize Orlando Pirates only, mm. even Buffalo, our national team, is going to be affected in this case. Mm. All the now, can see. Well, why are mm. still there? What, what makes our players to be vulnerable? Because I'll tell you why. Um, if I have memory serves me well, yes. Jomo Sono never got injured, except a serious injury that he got while he was playing in America, yes. which made him to be so big to the yes. side. Yes. Uh, Ace and rarely got injured. The teenage Lazar rarely got injured. Yes. Ace Munini rarely got injured. Uh, Andres Panyaza Masego. So I'm, na I'm naming them. Uh, Lucas Masterpieces Moripe. Jan Malongo yes. Chaba. Uh, yes. Harris Cheu. Uh, Harold Lechodi. Uh, they, they rarely got injured. Uh, mm -hmm. In the recent time, we have uh, Messi. Ronaldo, you know, they get injured by their back uh, very soon. You know, I wish we could be having a physio to explain to us why. Why why do you have these players? And nowadays, the, the, the current players, they get injured from time to time. You know, when I talk about what is happening to, to, to Tempin Gossi Lodge, you look at Tembele at Barcelona, all right? In and mm -hmm. out, in and out, all right? I don't know. Uh, do I make a halabaloo out of nothing? Actually, you're not. You're not, definitely. I think it's a very serious concern because I, I'm not sure if it, is it because of uh, the training or the, the physios, the physio that they're doing and uh, the type of training that they are, they are getting, I'm, I'm not really sure about that. But if you look at uh, the training techni techniques and tactics that were used in those eras of about the late Obrema Kupela and Obo Joel Mnini, it, 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 it's very surprising because even their shin pads, they didn't even use any shin pads, but you could never hear that somebody has been, has a long-term injury or anything like that. So if we can get maybe one of the, physiotherapist or maybe a coach Kabu, then they can be able to analyze that and tell us exactly what could be the problem because it's it's really happening quite a lot nowadays, especially. I mean, look at uh, 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 this Kaiser chief striker, um, uh, Castro, yes, Castro. Castro has been injured now, it's about 
is going to be on the bench for about four months or five months, mm. you know? Mm. So you never know what could be the problem. I don't know, maybe the training techniques or the physio that they're getting, it's not up stretch. Mm. That could mm. be another, another possibility, you never know. Mm. But if mm. we can, maybe as we, as we keep on with our shows, we will be able to get somebody who can be able to come and give us answers on this particular banning issue. Mm. Because how do you look at player that will be paid for the next 12 months? Ah, you know, you look like, um, yes, Cristiano Ronaldo does get injured, but they come back quickly. Messi yeah. does get injured, but they come back quickly. But uh, the larger part of the season, they are there. You know, Slatan yeah. uh, Abramovic, you know, at his age, you know. Now, yeah. I ask myself, Dr. Kumalo, for instance, Yes. Uh, I don't remember, you know, we're told that doctor has been injured, a long-term injury. Funny yes, my detail for that matter. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, uh, actually, Juluga Khatebe, the late who was playing for Amazon, started at Morocco Silos. Uh, yes. Mlongisi, Professor Ngubane. You mm. named them, you know. Uh, they would come back quickly, you know. Uh, Michael Jackson, you still remember Michael Jackson? Yes, uh, Peterson. Peterson. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. You know, and, and I'm wondering, you have your aunt to fight now, but he's very young. We see, we, we, we're going to see how is he going to fare, aunt to fight. And uh, like I said, that boy is a gem. He's something else. He's a new thing. But, number uh, yeah, but I wonder whether uh, we won't have those issues. You know, there was uh, this boy who the world thought is going to be the new Messi. Boyan. Mm -hmm. Boyan. You remember Boyan? Yes. Very talented player. Very skillful. Playing like Lionel Messi. Everybody was looking forward to Boyan. And I don't know what happened. He just disappeared. Injuries were dogging him and so on. I see even Eden Hazard is becoming injury prone now. Uh, the less said about uh, Gareth Bay. I want to know what is the reason? Other players get injured and others, they continue. You don't see that long-term injury. Is it the body or is it the physique, the manner they have been trained? I'm sure you people out there, maybe you have some ideas you can tell us. What is it? You know, because this is said. Tembi Gossi Lodge is a youngster showing a lot of promise. But now when we hear that uh, uh, he's not going to be there for the entire season, all right? Of course, he'll be earning his money. But, uh, you know, once you're not there for the whole season, when you come back, you know, I mean, the season has just started. I don't know, you know. So, yeah, I don't know whether it differs from one person to the next. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Though, you know what, though? Let's look at his injury. What kind of an injury? According to reports, the previous coach, which was at Zimbabwe, when they were in the preseason, he indicated that Lodge has got a shoulder injury. That is, that is the injury that he spoke about. And then now that the very same shoulder injury is taking, is taking him out of the game for, for, for the whole season. So you never know, you never understand. I think even our physiotherapists or doctors, they might have uh, uh, speculated this particular time of the whole season. Mm. Maybe six, down, six months down the line or four months down the line, the shoulder could be okay. Mm. And then you could be able to, to, to get back into the team. Mm. Look at the, 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 the retired Kaiser Chiefs youngster, Meiwa who was involved in that car accident. They said he will never ever walk again, then he will never ever play football. Right now, he's now walking, and then he's practicing football, he's playing football. Mm. He's practicing right now. And this happened last year, around October or so. 12 months down the line, the guy is back. In the no, 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 no. You see, when you're involved in an accident, that's not what worries me. It's, it's people who are getting injured in the field of play. Yeah. It becomes a long-term injury. Are they brought back yes. soon, sooner than expected? I remember at some point, Arsenal used to have that problem. They said the manner that they were training, 
So that is why they were losing players because of uh, injuries. The physio was not doing what they are supposed to do. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, that, that's my worry. I don't know people out there what to take. What makes uh, the current players, uh, you know, to be so prone to injuries? Is it lack of fitness? Those people who, who have played football at a higher level. So probably you can tell us. Maybe it's lack of fitness. But like you said, uh, Coach Habuzondo, at some point, one said, uh, you know, during their time, they would train three times. And then, uh, but these days, it, it doesn't happen that way because of the body. They can tell us what is it. Uh, uh, what 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 are we missing? But uh, because really, I'm saddened by this uh, uh, Tembingosi Lodge's uh, injury. Remember, Tembingosi mm -hmm. wanted to go overseas uh, to make money for himself. Now you can imagine if the injury is going to set him uh, backwards. And while mm -hmm. I'm still there, the other thing that I, I want to ask: Why our players they don't play until they're forty? Look at Zlatan Abramovich. I saw him scoring yesterday mm -hmm. at the age of 40. You know, mm -hmm. and, and, and then you ask yourself, what's happening? You know, and then look at Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, he continues to score goals. 36. Eh? He's banging goals as, as, if, as if goals are going out of fashion. Eh? Did you see the second goal, how he sprinted yeah. from the center line yeah. until they gave him that through pass? Yeah. It's unbelievable, right? Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. yeah. But well, with Cristiano and Messi, we know that they train a lot. Uh, but I'm yes. not sure. I still have to ask people like Khabu Zondo, give us information. Uh, is it a training uh, that, that, that kills these players or what? I really don't know. Um, I just want to understand. But currently, I'm still in the dark. So viewers out there will tell us what do you think? What is the problem? Why our players are so injury prone? Um, when I read about uh, what was the problem be between Gareth Bale and Zinedine Zidane, apparently Zinedine Zidane was arguing said Gareth Bale likes to spend too much time on the golf course. Eh? Maybe that also contributed lack of focus. And then, but in terms of Eden Hazard, I don't understand. Because Eden Hazard was playing well at at men men at then Chelsea, now he's at Madrid. He's struggling. Comes in, he goes out. He comes in, he goes out. Are they rushing him or what? You know. So those are some of the things. So if there are physios out there, please give us information. Educators, remember this is edutainment, uh, edu infotainment uh, platform. So, in the absence of anything, thank you for watching this first show. And then uh, we are going to meet on the other side during lunch hour when we discuss the second show. You want to say anything, Jackie, at the end? Yeah, well, the, what, I, what I can say is that uh, congratulations to Mamlody Sundowns. And uh, I'd had luck to Amakosi. And congratulations to Mapagania as well. Yeah. And had luck to. Uh, is uh, there's, there's always a next time. We'll talk about that during lunch. Huh? Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very uh, much for, for the time, guys. We really appreciate your support. Keep on commenting and then uh, 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 keep supporting us so that we can be able to grow bigger than this. We appreciate every support that you are giving to us. Thank you very much, Tao. I'm worried I don't see Fraser anymore commenting. I wonder what happened to Fraser now. Baganea <laughs> should be happy wherever he is. Well, uh, him Baganea, and, that is Fraser and Walter. Him and Fraser George, and Walter, they are no longer coming. Yeah, Walter, I don't know what happened, man. Walter has just disappeared. Uh, Fraser, Walter, and then uh, George Trakwe, Baganea, we want to hear from you. And then uh, Tabo, Ramo Happy, we always hear from you. And then you entertain us. You keep us entertained all the time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much.